FaZe Seabass finally uploaded his response video to the whole FaZe Clan situation and FaZe Rain had a couple things to say about it. Let's check out the video. So I'm really not going to try to talk too much. I'm going to let Norton take over. We got FaZe Seabass speaking out about the FaZe situation, which I find crazy because, again, you guys know me. I'm going to always keep it 100. I have not had the best relationship with this man for a very long time because I do believe wholeheartedly that you are part of the problem and why FaZe is did not know that. why everything bad that has happened to FaZe has happened. You have been compliant with every single person that has tried to hurt FaZe and to sell FaZe out and make money off FaZe. And you've done it for a salary and a position in FaZe that you feel comfortable with. You have a full office in Toronto where you get to hire whoever you want and you have full control of it. And it's boosted your ego, the one that you've had since 2012. You're reliving your ego and this entire thing is a power trip and for you to maintain control in the company. I, I'm just going to be 100. Obviously, you guys can tell I don't like this man. So I have to hear this 14-minute video is going to kill me inside because I don't want to fucking listen to this man talk for 14 minutes. I know I'm being kind of an asshole right now, but I've had a very long history with this man and it's been unbelievably annoying so for the fact that he's speaking out damn acting, I, let's just see what he's I think saying. the first some things but let's just see what he's saying i want to hear it for myself but the fact that he's acting like what he on our side or he's working with us or he cares about phase is crazy because i've seen what you've done on the inside sure you might care about phase but you're not doing what's best for the brand or for us you've been doing entirely what's better for yourself and these people that will help you boost your position in the company bro, bro, I had hey no it's idea. sebastian of face oh, and hell? i know a lot of people on the internet right now happening with phase clan or more importantly what happened to phase and as our longest tenured employee for over 12 years, I'd like to give some of my perspective on that to a conversation that isn't necessarily um, the best one to be had in public, but obviously is. I'm gonna talk about it. I think people deserve to hear a little bit more behind the curtain. Um, the unfortunate part of doing it this way is that even though I'm gonna have to put the company hat on a little bit and try and speak in defense of FaZe. Did he just roll um, up? That may... That's not Whoa. FaZe, gang. Don't call the company phase. I'm begging you. Do not do that. That's not phase for the company, the money hungry people. Please get it right. Be seen as me positioning myself on the other side of what someone like Rain or Tico are fighting for as if I'm against them. And I assure you that could not be further from the truth. Oh. I think the unfortunate part is really? people that want the same thing being positioned to be on different sides is effectively the easiest way I can explain this reality that we're in right now, which is unfortunate for everybody. So um, I'm gonna try and speak on them a little bit differently. I know obviously uh, Tico has been speaking out over the last week What's and rain over the last few months. Jordan? And while the situations may up? seem pretty similar, um, they are quite the different. Water, so I'm gonna try and separate that a little bit. Just for some context for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm sure you know some of our OGs have seen me in content back in the day, but when I joined FaZe over 12 years ago, I wasn't a content creator. Don't pretty much care. everything that we've done. In fact, the first member I remember with, but really everything, all the good decisions. I'm being such an asshole. I'm sorry. No, no. I'll listen. I'm just like, oh. Bro. All the bad ones. It's like, I hear you. Um, I got to hear everything. So I, I so think I want to teach you how to train the bad kids, but you were like one of the good kids. Perspective on that to offer. So with Tico, the unfortunate reality um, that he's speaking up about is one that I don't think has been translated properly. Um, so I'd like to get some things on the record as I just did very clearly first. I 100% agree with him morally and ethically um, that he should have been compensated more for his historical contributions to FaZe Clan than he has been over the last 12 years. Um, and I'm sure there are you know conversations that I haven't been a part of where he's been disrespected or been put in the room with someone who doesn't understand, see, or appreciate his value, and he doesn't deserve that. Um, and I know firsthand how much of the personal weight this last few years of trying to resolve these problems has bared down on him. I've dealt with a lot of the same things myself. I think we're actually dealing with closer sim uh, situations than he even may realize. And I know how hard that is emotionally. Um, and I'm with him. I'm with him 100%. Um, but you're still going to show up and work with everybody that's against him and not helping him, right? Oh, just got to. So they make sure that you're paid and you're going, oh, okay, got you. And you're taking care of it. But you're with him. I hear you. 100%. I hear you. And, and I want nothing but him to feel that his life's work has been rewarded and uh, awarded accordingly. Um, that said, I do want to give some perspective as to how we even got here with him and understanding that... I do think um, we, we speaking on behalf of FaZe Clan, have been able to give Tico a successful, viable career. I think that this is a guy who 
obviously was making YouTube videos about, uh, you know, Call of Duty trick shots, just like everybody else. And together with him, with his contributions, we've been able to bring him to America. We've been able to put a roof over his head for over 10 years, including the one he's living in right now that FaZe pays for. I think in the last maybe five years, we brought him probably over a million dollars in brand deal related and FaZe participation compensation. And, and again, I think he deserves all of that. Um, his contributions to FaZe are, he, he's one of the few people who can genuinely now, hold on, Tico. If they brought you a mill, yeah, me too. Seriously, you're not the sit. No, I'm just kidding. I'm glad. I hope they did. I genuinely I, hope, I hope they did bring him money and did things because I didn't even know about that. I can't speak on any of the Tico stuff, obviously, because I'm not Tico. But say we say wouldn't be thing. here without me. There's a lot of people who can say that, um, but he is without a shadow of a doubt one of them. And as Phase succeeds, he, he should in have the beginning, but been awarded after and compensated years, what happened? accordingly. No. I don't think he was. Um, you know, maybe six or so years ago, after the success of the Phase House in New York, and after this was starting to really become a worldwide recognized thing, there was a decision that was made to start turning the brand into a business. And that included, you know, some of the OGs sitting aside with someone else who, who came into the picture, uh, who obviously used to work here, that may have not had everybody's best intentions at heart. And it was split into a pie. And some people got something and some people didn't. Um, Jacob is one of the people, myself, Rug, Adapt, many others, 50 to 100 others who contributed to FaZe in six years before that, that weren't part of that. Um, and it's impossible to be put in that situation. Is this uh, construction going to be a problem? At one point, uh, a company worth a billion dollars that his piece of is very small. And there are people coming in as those older shares have continued to be diluted and making way for new investors that aren't contributing not not just not what he did aren't contributing really anything people who don't have our best intentions at heart people who actually yeah, screwed us over that are now getting more than he ever did um it's impossible to be put in that situation and not feel the way you feel about phase clan but i do know from working enough in our in our building and around the industry that when you are met with somebody who taking that emotion and putting it to the side and just focusing on the facts, when you are met with somebody who is not needing to worry about putting a roof over their head or providing for their family or where the next, uh, you know, where their next bill is gonna come or where their next check is gonna come from to oh, pay for look. their bills and they're off. making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year pursuing their passion and we're providing them Rain and empowering easy, them bro. the foundation to do that. And they're staring you in the face, a genuine, honest worker who just loves what FaZe is doing and wanted to help out with your marketing degree. And you're being told, fuck you. This isn't enough. I need more or I'm not. But it's only because it's relative, bro. It's like not like if T if nobody was getting it, Tico would never bring it up. They'll take a crazy man off the top and just give him some crumbs. So relatively, of course, taking care of him rent-wise is, of course, important. But I'm saying relatively to what they're taking, what they're giving, you, like we, we're we not stupid, bro. We can see through yeah. this shit. So you're just saying, oh, yeah, they're paying for your rent. But look at how much they're taking, bro. You got to like... He's not just saying, only Fuck looking you, at the few out of the little pros totally because of what they of the have. Situation. Like, you got to understand it. these things, bro. X, Y, Z. That's not a tenable situation for anybody. Um, and unfortunately, there have been a lot of those microcosms playing out, you know, a road, there's a fork in the road and the wrong one is chosen for six, 10 years, right? That happens when you meet people online, you create a brand, you don't necessarily split it up, you mess in, up in the bro. right way. And there's, there's other interests and you give people the ability to come into your brand and make a business for themselves. and being jaded about that um, leads towards you retreating right when we don't show up every day. And, you know, I, I'll be the first to say, while I do come to work for FaZe every day, I wouldn't necessarily say that all of our OGs have been that involved over the last few years. And when we retreat, it allows for other people to come in and make their own decisions. And unfortunately, of that's all. Of course, you're going to fucking show up every single exactly. day. You get paid to and you get all the resources in the world to do because you keep pushing their agenda. Like, bro, of course. And also, it's like, oh, I'm not even going to I could say if something. If there's really no benefit of them coming. Say, come on, bro. Realize it for what the fuck it is. It's so annoying, bro. You're playing both sides, and that's why I'm annoyed right now. It's not because I'm just trying to, like, be this way. I just, I've had a long history with this person, and I've just been annoyed this entire time. I've had a very annoying, decade-long relationship with Seabass. So, and it's just, like, the, the fakeness, I feel like, where you're, you're, you're rooting for both sides, and whichever one will help you, it's like, it's not genuine, bro. This shit's not genuine. This is like one big PR video. And it's almost always going to end you up in a position like this where people who want the same thing 
which is employees that are fans of FaZe, work here for that reason and want nothing more than it to succeed, are sticking their hand out to someone like Tico and Rain saying, let's work together. But the view on the other side is you screwed me over. Why would I work with you? And I understand both sides. I unfortunately think that this is a conversation that is better had behind the camera. Um, and we've, we've certainly tried over the last few years. Obviously, I can't speak to every room that they may have been in where it's possible somebody was being far more disrespectful and far more brazen um, than I would than I would ever care to be about this. By the way, I have I've I've blown his phone up talking crazy. Like I'm sometimes I'm disrespectful. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like if you're really causing problems, then I feel like you're directly you gotta keep it real, man. People gotta problem. know. I'm gonna say it for what the fuck it is. But I do know for a fact that I may not be able to speak for every single person who's ever worked here, but the majority of the people that I work with at FaZe are our biggest fans. And these are the people we're actually hurting right now by this playing out in public. The people that really care. The fans that are sitting at home that saw that we created a career out of our passion. That's all I want is I wish the warehouse and all of our employees were fans that actually consume this. The people that I talk to on a day to day basis that actually like work on YouTube, that's what they do. They don't like the employees we have right now. As soon as they leave the warehouse, they go do their boomer shit. They're not even worried about FaZe. Of course, some of their employees, like some of the employees we have, they are awesome. They're amazing. They're fans. They know our history. They know everything. They actually do consume this stuff, but they can't do anything. They don't really have a say in anything. And that's the issue. The people that actually consume this don't have a say and the people that don't consume this have the biggest say and they're deciders of what happens to them or not. So that's the issue. It's not even the, like the employees, the base level employees, it's their bosses and all the people that assume position because they're the ones that don't even consume this or care about this or even watch YouTube or know what the fuck we went through or care about our fans and none yeah. of that. It's entirely transactional, entirely about the numbers and money, what they could possibly get out of this. That's it. So it's annoying to me, bro. I just hate watching the thing that I built get sucked and squeezed by people like this. It's just annoying to me. It has been and, for so long. And are now able to do that without the thought of the weight of the world and the real world. 10, bro. We're living here on this slice of the internet. Those yeah. people who have that dream, who want to do the same thing that we did, they're seeing us fight. They're seeing everybody just throw their shots at FaZe. Not the good actors, not the bad actors, but just all lumping it together. Um, and I think that is more of my issue with, to separate it now to, to more with Norton. That's been more of the issue with obviously trying to deal with him over the last few years is, I mean, look, if you've ever watched a FaZe Rain video, you know the guy's passionate. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily say that working relationship from his side has been approached with the spirit of you know respect and and common decency um but i also I don't blame him because he's been really really oh, fucked yeah, over yeah, by a lot of people show, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um no, he's not right, even he's just right within this slice of the internet just in life and i feel for him i have tried many times oh, even watch, watch him say hella nice things about me y'all just been watching me cook him out like the biggest asshole i'm sorry because that's ooh, he's gonna fucking pr the shit out of me i know you are i wouldn't say my relationship with norton right now is is on good terms, which sucks because this is a guy that I've known for literally 12 years. This guy, I remember when I was in university, there was a, a couple months him? I was like, uh, you know, I was paying for stuff and money wasn't coming in. So I was struggling to make rent and he paid for my rent for months. No, I've never talked about it. Like that's the kind of guy that this guy is. And he's looking at the piece of the pie that he got. And it's like, well, everybody else got a bigger piece now. We're this public company and who are all these people? Who's this, who are all these, you know, directors and X, Y, Z. That I do appreciate him bringing that up, but it doesn't really change anything. But I appreciate you bringing it up because you obviously didn't have to or do whatever. And make, like, why would you try to make me look good while trying to like whatever? I hear you, but it's still the point, bro. Like, you just got to understand it for what it is. But oh, see, I knew something like that was going to happen. It don't have our interest at heart. But, but yeah, if, um, if that's the way, I promise you, Norton, if that's the way we approach the conversation with those people, no other way this is where we end up. By, like, drastic we have to work every day at fighting that off. We can't just build a brand that people like and sit back and allow it to rake in the money for us. And money. if we I I've got no money from it. That's not honestly want to be able to provide this opportunity to decades of newer generations of people instead of just being happy with what we've done for 12 years, then we, we have to show up and we have to be accountable. And we have to understand that a lot of these decisions we've made are bear some fault to us too and bury that hatchet and stick our hands out he just has to get that it's not like a lack or laziness or thing of us not wanting to show up i will show up every single day weekends do not exist to me i want to be like oh i'll show up monday to Friday. i'll show up every single fucking day that's what you know when the brand is in the right place but i'm not going to go there to work with people who are going to get paid 
It's not even about them getting paid. It's just you know what it is, where they have the full control. They're the ones also just getting paid. Have more shares. They have more to win while you do everything. That doesn't feel good, bro. Yeah. Of course, also, but when the brand is in the right place and everyone's getting compensated, what the fuck they should it's get? Not but not while it's, it's not like this. Not while like what it's like been under. Fuck no. Like who wants to do that? They can and work together. So I try work to work on the outside. Let me try to get everyone together so we can try to get this shit back so I can do this every day. But it's like, that's just not the reality with what's been going on. Other guys who really aren't necessarily, who've been burned too much that they're not even necessarily entering this conversation right now. I, I hate the fact that I have to because I'm on their side. I come to work every day fighting against the realities that they, that are bearing them down. And by me making this video, it's almost going to seem as if I'm, I'm not with them when I am. Um, but I, I, I have, have worked here long enough to know uh, that the people who work here need direction, need quick. guidance, need the OGs, like those who are speaking out and those who aren't, to show up and to work with them and to give them direction and guidance and spirit and understanding that the compensation we're receiving isn't as big as it should be, but it's still enough to tell the world who right now isn't that interested in esports as we're seeing people shut down orgs, fire people, lay people off, drop their teams. We can't present a narrative to them that regardless of how, who's got what slice, if we're telling them this isn't enough and this is enough for us to make it work in esports, they're not interested. And this thing that we have here won't continue to the next All generation. You guys care about is and that's what I want. Days. That's what I care about. Um, so to anybody out there in the public who can at least understand that. I appreciate you and, and thank you for hearing me out. Even those who've been who've been speaking on it, like I know Nate uh, was talking about this on his stream the other day, and I I, he, well, I don't think any of that was meant to be negative. This is a guy who understands the scope. And when Phase yeah. wins, the industry wins, and vice versa. Yet, um, you know, big business doesn't want us to have what we deserve. They want us to have nothing. And the fight is one that happens every day with us showing up and being accountable for it. So um, hopefully, we can all find a way to work together. I think when we talk about wanting to work together, that's really what the spirit of that is. Not the bad actors. It doesn't hurt the people who fucked us over. They don't care about us either way. It hurts people that are watching this that have a dream like we did. And we're able to turn it into something. Yeah, and also we don't want the people that have a dream to be like, oh my God, you're going to build something. They fucking stole it from you. We don't want to fucking initiate that dream. So it's like... And thought that they might be able to do it right. too. And if their source of inspiration is now that's, that's attacking each other... Dream. Instead of working together to address the problem, yes, yes, work together, got it. that isn't something that I'm ever got willing to, to accept. To so if you'd together. like to talk to me more about it, I'm happy to do so. Uh, this is a matter of gravity that, that frankly needs more discussion, even if it means it being... It needs the boys yes, locked sir. in. The boys getting what the fuck they deserve. The boys locked in and the boys take it over. That's all it is, bro. One two, we're all motivated. We all want to do this shit. We're all hungry. The return of like, faith. Stick my neck out there. And trust me, I've been fucked over by this game a lot more times. And even I you, I want Seabat to get compensated. Obviously, I'll say that over anything. I still like he has showed up, so he does deserve you know what he gets. But obviously, you have to understand. I don't think what you did for Phase was positive over the last few years because you just kept pushing an agenda, kept saturating the page. Like, Low key, yeah. Phase plan Instagram and Twitter. Like I, I wholeheartedly believe so. The, the reason it dies in interactions is because of how much bad Completely things you put dry. out and allowed to go out, and you just made that the norm. So that's just what they keep pushing out. Don't agree with it the way you pay yourself to the executives and shit. I just don't agree with it. It's just straight um, hate and cam At the end of the day, is he a terrible human being? Fuck no. See, Bass is a good guy. I'm sure he has a, a phase stuff. Good heart. I like, you know, he's a good dude, but like four phase. We're speaking four phase, right? And I do feel like this is like a very, like again, two-sided type answer. Like he's on our side, but he's also on their side. He doesn't know. People are trying to protect their jobs. I get that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like even if it's your salary, depending on it, you just got to do what's right. I don't care, but I get it. Not everybody's like that. I fully understand. And if, if I, if, if we care about making sure that it doesn't happen to anybody else, then we got to show up and be part of that too. So, um, that's the spirit that I'm approaching this with. I hope. And yes, that's, that's all we should be doing. Showing up together and trying to get shit right together. That's all everybody in face should be focused on. Right now. To speak oh, up on this. It's, I actually was on vacation the last 10 days. Not the best timing. Um, yeah, that's sorry, but, dude. You know, if anyone has any other questions, you know where to find me. Sorry to ruin that. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you guys for all the love and support on these videos. I'm going to keep posting, obviously, regardless. I just want to get this all out of the way, and then I'm going to continue posting just regular videos back to normal. Nothing's stopping me now. Now y'all know everything. I don't care. Everything's back to normal day, they really Keep it real, everybody. To together, love you guys. Man. See you guys At later. the end Peace. of the day, that's all they have to do is just get together in a room and just figure this out. All, like, and everybody gets a say in the matter. But, guys, if you're enjoying this series, let me know. I'll continue. I'll continue reacting to these videos. Thank you for watching.